اللهم صل وسلم وبارك عليه وعلى اله اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اتي الله اتي رسول اول الامر منكم and always a reminder for myself and abduk al ajis daif miskin zalim jahal and but for the grace of allah the wajah that i'm still in existence alhamdulillah that allah the wajah granted us this honor to mention his name and to love whom he loves this is not from our cleverness and allah the wajah's divinely grace and in these days of difficulty very important to understand that prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam prescribed for us prescribed for us that the dajjal and the men of deceit and the realities of deception and deceit and the system of deceit will present itself as a paradise He'll hold two hands and two realities. One reality will appear to be a, par a paradise and the other reality will appear to be a fire. And the importance of this understanding that everything that Prophet ﷺ brought for us is for contemplation, to contemplate that daily in this life of deception Everything that appears to be a paradise is a way of difficulty. That as people step more and more and more, they fall further from their faith, from their practices, from their belief, and from the satisfaction in rida of Allah And this is a difficulty that our families and our children are facing. And everyone sees it within their homes, within their communities. That people are distracted but what looks like paradise. They say, oh you don't know, mom, dad, this is paradise. Hello. The deception of paradise and they step into that reality and they lose their faith, they lose their practices, they enter into addiction and drugs and alcohol, into gangs and violence. And this community is especially plagued by that. And this is the Dajjal understanding, this is the deception understanding and it's pumped out everywhere for us and creates a material desire and that's exactly what Prophet ﷺ was describing. That is the deception. We don't have antichrist because we're not involved with Christ. Dajjal is to do with deception. And if the deception becomes so strong that every child and every man and every woman is stepping into that thinking, oh, this is my paradise, my paradise is here. The acquisition of these goods, the movement towards this dunya, this material world, this is all I want. And as a result of moving into that reality, they gain all sorts of difficulties. Divine grace and divine blessings leave them. And when that blessing leaves, who's there to stand? is evilness and wickedness and then they fall into all sorts of difficulties and the wrong crowds and the wrong practices. And Prophet ﷺ gave to us that that same deception, it will present a fire, take the fire. When the deception tells you, oh you don't need to do this. Because the concept of a fire means it's difficult. Oh, I don't want to do it. Take it off. Go here. Why you got to do that? Why you got to pray? Everything becomes a fire. And Prophet ﷺ warned us that when that deception comes, choose the fire. If you can move past that illusion, that's really behisht. 
that is your paradise. Don't listen to their fire, don't listen to their lies, don't listen to that deception. It's all made to make you lose your faith. And if we lose faith, we lose rahmah and blessings. We lose the protection like an umbrella that dresses us and blesses us. If we should lose that protection, every type of hardship and difficulty comes upon the servant. That's all that evilness wants. What evilness wants is lose your protection, lose your grace from Allah fall out of the sight of Allah and every TV, radio and every, every media is pushing that. So we are in a battle for our soul, for our faith and for our families. These associations, what Prophet described, says that when you come to the halakha of zikr, stop. Even another narration is grazed from it. How Prophet was describing there will be food and drink. Stop in that association, it's from paradise. Sit in it, eat in it, drink from it. It's a paradise dressing like a portal, like an opening. And the hadith goes long and describing Allah has angels looking for the halakas of zikr. Majlis is Salli ala Nabi And the angels circumambulate the association all the way to the presence of Arsh rahman This is not described in the masjid, this is not described in the prayer, this is not described anywhere. This is only achieved by the halakas of zikr. That the angels come and begin to circumambulate the halakas. And whatever Allah of punishment will relieve the servants. All their sayat will be lifted by the angels and Allah will forgive them. And all their barakah and blessings and the ni'mat of Allah will dress them. And the astonishing, this is just a summary of the hadith of Nabi of, of halakas of zikr. And the biggest gift the biggest gift of that hadith is at the end, the angels were so astonished by the zikr, so astonished by what Allah wants to grant them and so astonished by what Allah wants to forgive them that the angels ask, Ya Rabbi, all these blessings but there's somebody sitting there that not from them. And Allah said, no, the barakah of that association Anyone who enters it is going to be dressed with these blessings and every difficulty taken away from them and every blessing dressed upon them. And that's why the turuks and the tariqahs, they're ahli dhikr. And Allah continuously reminds us in Qur'an, don't seek the counsel of those whom they left the remembrance of Allah Shaitan has fooled them to forget remembering Allah If they forgot Allah what they're going to do for you? Means our whole life, our whole blessing is in these halakas. If the families come to the halakas, the families form the halakas and they, they want paradise from Allah anybody can have a paradise in their home, make the halakah of zikr. And Allah's promise is that that circle will be a paradise. It dresses our families, blesses our families and our communities and every difficulty to be taken away from it. And Allah write for us to be Ahlul Dhikr. That Allah saved us and that was a great accomplishment against every type of difficulty and every type of hardship. We pray that Allah dress us and bless us from the immensity of this night and the remembrance of this night that Ya Rabbi we came for the gathering and the love and the ishq of Sayyidina Muhammad and that every difficulty that we're facing with ourselves, our family and our communities, Ya Rabbi for the sake of Sayyidina Muhammad take them away, take away the difficulty and grant us the oceans of iman 
your rida and satisfaction that you look upon us with a happiness. Grant us Islam, your real Islam. Grant us Iman in which we love Prophet more than we love ourselves. And grant us Maqam al ihsan in which we see Allah in everything that we do. And if we don't see Allah know that Allah sees us in every action, in every amal. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon wa salamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen ila sharaf al nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa alihi wa ashabi kiram wa ala mashaykhina fi tariqata nashbandiyat al aliyya khasatan ruh imam tariqa qawt khaliqa shah nashband Muhammad Waisi al Bukhari sultan awliya shaykh Abdul Faiz al Daghestani sultan shaykh Muhammad Nazim Adil Hakani Maulana Shaykh Hisham Kabani, Shaykh Adnan Kabani, Shaykh Muhammad Adil, Mabda Khalik al Khujdwani, Sahib Zaman Sayyid Muhammad al Mahdi alayhi salam, Ruhullah Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam, Sayyidullah Sayyidina Ali alayhi salam, Thumma Sayyidina Abba Ka Sadiq, Sayyidina Omar, Sayyidina Uthman, Imam al Hassan alayhi salam, Imam al Hussein alayhi salam, Wa Sayyidatina Fatima Tazar alayhi salatu salam, Wa Sayyidina Wa Sadatina, Wa Sidiqina al Fatiha.